What is up guys and girls of YouTube? It's your boy Justin Omoe here with the video for you guys and girls who've just jumped into FL Studio 20 from FL Studio 12 and you want to get yourself fitted in right just like how it was with 12 for y'all. So what am I talking about? Let's say for example the effects. Notice how we just have this simple list here but in my FL Studio 12, if I go to the channel rack and go to insert, see it has everything else, everything that I installed and put in categories, uh, like native instruments, you see all these are here. We got GVSTs, installed folder with all these things that I've installed before, uh, Arturia, and so forth. Same thing with the effects, so if you see, I know you can't really see the whole list here, but you know, we got the Blue Crusher, Antares stuff here. Uh, where's Autotune Pro? I don't know. So let's say you want that stuff, you know, you want the, 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 the effects and generators. How do we go about putting that in? So if I show you FL Studio 20, I already did it here with the effects. So you see Arturio stuff here. I did not do it for the generators, so I could show y'all an example. So what we got to do is go into plugin database, click over here, go to generators for the generators. Go to right click and I'm going to go to open. Bam, just like that. This delete thing's a lie. Next, we're going to go to FL12, do the same thing. Plug in database, generators. We're going to right click, open it, and notice how this has so much more than the other thing. I'm going to go ahead and right, uh, control A, and to be safe, let me go ahead and go over here to the next folder. Going to take this from FL12, going to click and hold, and I'm going to hold control as well to copy it over. There you see it has something about replacing or skipping. I'm going to skip them because more than likely it's the old version of plugins if if already in there like 3x oscillators whatnot. We don't want to do that. We just want to copy it and not replace anything. So easy as that. Boom bap so swap. Look everything's here. All right. So if I go to like a uh, mini V3. Let's see. So you see it? I know y'all can't hear it, so let me let me see if I got like there. Y'all y'all could hear that, right? There we go. That's how you do it. Same thing for the effect channel uh, thingamajiggy. Uh, oh wait, hold on. <laughs> My bad. This is FL12. Uh, let me go back to 20 and show y'all. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there. Uh, what is it? Mini V3. <laughs> there. There, all right. <laughs> that would have been funny if I left it like that. But yeah, same thing for the effects. If I go, uh, I don't think Auto Tune Eight works. Yeah, because we got Auto Tune Pro now. Uh, so if I go into Effects and uh, hold on, my bad. Installed Effects New. I have to figure it out. Maybe if I refresh. Come on, come on. There you go. Auto Key and Auto Tune. These are new ones that came out. I'll be making a video on these soon. So, yeah. Keep your eyes out. If for some reason some plugins don't work, that's weird. Because all the ones that I got work. Anything that's installed and it's in that VST plugins, you're getting it in FL Studio 20. I know some people's gonna ask about the sound kit, like the the the, the folders. Uh, how do I go about doing that? I it's been a minute, so you know what I'm saying. So say for example, we want that FL Studio 12 packs, the the, the packs that's in FL 12 that I already have. So that's things like the homie Nerf, uh, aka Sock, his stuff, uh, Twitch sound effects, this lo fi kit, and uh, there's, there's other, all the other stuff, you know what I'm saying? We could do that by going to FL20 and doing the same way you did it with FL12 if you have extra, pl uh, extra folders. So let's see, we're going to options, file settings, right here, click this. Go to your C, your uh, computer, C drive, scroll down the program files. For me, it's x86, probably because I'm using a 64-bit computer. We're going to scroll down to image line. Go ahead and click that. We are going to go to FL Studio 12. 12.5 12 is a lie. We're going to data, patches, packs. And if you want all of them from FL 12 in there, you can just select that folder. If you want specific ones, you could like select them, but you know, I want them all because more is better. So I'm going to click the packs, click OK. And as you see, uh, this new window came up. So you see, I have two packs now. Two pack. 
yeah you could like move the files from fl studio 12 into fl 20 but if you do have like flp projects and it's trying to load the files from fl 12's folder it'll be like oh i don't know about that if there was a way to rename it that would be cool but that's the way it is so instead of copying all the sounds and having wasting more space in fl 20 you could just make the folder just like that uh let me, let me just try this on a whim i'm gonna close that go away let's say uh 2018 beats so we click this drag it oh there we go that's the easier way so if you got folders like that you just want to throw it in there you can go ahead and do what i just did click drag put it in there yeah and let's see one more thing boom yeah you see it's right here that's just the folder i just drag and dropped in so you can hit delete if you want that out of there and uh yeah it's still there it'll probably be gone by the oh it's gone wow wow gone before my eyes all right hopefully i did not take up too much of your time and hopefully you did enjoy this and learn from this and you apply this and so forth thank you guys and girls for watching hit the thumbs up if you like the video share it to your buddies who do have fl20 and it's like yo this sucks i can't do shit like fl12 because it's all gone this is the answer for them. And subscribe if you're new, by the way. My name is Justin Omoe. And with that being said, peace. I'll see y'all on the next one. I'm out.